Hello, friends. Welcome back to day five of Ease into the New Year. Today, we energize our bodies first thing in the morning by flowing through a nice full body stretch. This class is all level friendly, and I don't believe you'll need any props, but you can grab a block if you usually use one and your trusty yoga mat, and we can get moving and grooving. Begin today finding our center in easy seat, Sukhasana. Just taking a moment to come into this practice and come into the body. Start to notice the breath as it fills the nostrils and fills the lungs. Taking the right hand, meeting the left ear and gently using it to help you find a little neck stretch. Opening up through the left side. You can maybe, maybe take this hand to the shoulder to gently help find a little bit more space. Not forcing anything too hard though, just if you want a little, little extra. And on your next exhale, gently release to switch sides. I love beginning with neck stretches first thing in the morning. I feel like it's just a great way to begin the day. Releasing, taking the hands behind the head, interlacing the fingers, and drawing the elbows together as we tuck the chin into the chest. So we still want to be sitting up nice and tall, really just feeling the back of the neck open up, the whole spine from the cervical, the base of the skull, all the way down to the lumbar, the lower back. One more big deep breath here. And then inhale to lift, opening up the elbows, release the fingertips, hands find the knees. And we take little, little hip circles. So just opening up, taking the chest forward and then using, ooh, my whole entire back just cracked, the opposition of the knees and the hands to round through the back. And we can make these little teeny tiny little sways or we can make them full circles. Maybe a little mix of both. Just waking up. Starting to move the energy around. One more big breath. And then coming back to center, neutral spine, coming onto the knees very gently. Beautiful. For a little cat cow. So inhale, lift the chest. We slide the fingertips back towards the hip, pulling the shoulders down. And exhale, they can kind of glide towards the knees as we round through the back, tucking the chin. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. One more. Making this nice and sweet. And good morning to your body. And then meeting back in neutral spine. Lifting up onto the knees, extending the left leg long to the side. We want our heel in line with the knee. Inhale, reach the arms up nice and tall. And exhale, glide that left hand down the leg as the right reaches over. Gate pose. Spiraling the chest open. Nice side body stretch. And exhale, we can release. We're going to windmill these arms around. So the left comes in front. We plant it. Inhale, reach the right up, preparing to thread the needle. And exhale, scoop it underneath that left arm, coming to lie on the right ear. We can always 
come into our regular thread the needle if this is a little bit too intense, but I kind of like these hybrid poses. It's a hip opener as well as a shoulder stretch. Beautiful. One more breath. Release on the exhale. And planting that left hand to come back up. Turn to the side of the mat. We're on our right knee. Just reaching that heel back. So grounding through the hands here, really pressing into the mat. Sending that heel back, waking up the calf, the hamstring. And then slowly making our way back to the side of the mat. Taking that left leg in and extending the right out. Inhale, lift the chest, extend the hands. Exhale. Take our side bend, reaching the left arm overhead. Just finding what spot feels good. Exhale to windmill these arms around, planting the right in front and reaching the left up. Exhale, thread the needle, coming to lie on the left shoulder. That left hand is reaching towards the foot, pressing open shoulders. Finding space between the scapula. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Exhale, press back up. Turning on that left knee to send the right heel back, back, back. Finding these sweet little stretches this morning. Great way to start the day. Mm. Beautiful. And taking that right knee underneath the chest, we're going to make our way into downward facing dog. So send the hips up, walk the hands in front, the feet back. Take a moment to come into this posture by bending one knee and then the other, sending the hips up and head down towards the hands. And finding our static downward facing dog, lifting the right foot off the mat just a few inches just to roll the ankle a little bit one way and then the other. We're nice and active in the left leg, finding the strength with a little bit of stretch here. And release the right foot, pick up the left and repeat. Just nice, gentle opening up. Through the appendages, every little part of the body deserves love. Releasing that foot. And on your next inhale, reach the heels up. Exhale, roll through the back into plank pose. And inhale, find upward facing dog, taking a few spinal rolls. Exhale, send the hips back. Connect to the core, sucking the navel into the spine as we roll through these. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, roll nice and strong. Inhale, upward facing dog. We meet in downward facing dog. We'll take one more if that feels good. We can always hang out in downward facing dog if this does not feel good to us. Remembering to listen to our body. Then we find ourselves in downward facing dog. We can gaze at the hands and hop, jump, skip, walk <laughs> up to the front of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, roots arise, scoop the chest up, reach for the sky, and exhale, heart center. Taking a moment here in mountain pose to ground down through the feet. Lifting up through the crown of the head, roll the shoulders back, tuck in the tailbone slightly. Feel the energy lifting up from the earth, grounding you, holding you, honoring you. Releasing the hands by the sides. Inhale to shift the weight to the left foot. 
and tuck the right knee into the chest, pulling it in, squaring the hips down, not letting it jut up, but pulling the knee up, really opening up through this hip crease. Then on your next exhale, we're going to gently try and come into half chair, crossing that ankle over the left knee, sinking into the hips. We can use our hands to gently press on the knee, opening it just a wee bit more, if that feels good. Always options. Holding here. One more breath. Maybe we sink a little bit deeper on the exhale. Inhale, straighten back up, take the knee into the chest, and exhale, finding our tree pose. So we can be at the ankle, at the calf, or on the thigh, just not placing our foot on the knee, opening through the hips, sending this knee back, squeezing the glutes together. Inhale, reach up. Once we find our balance, interlace the fingers, point their finger, extends, still rolling the shoulders back and down away from the ears, taking a nice deep breath, and on your next exhale we're going to gently release the leg into the chest and extend it back stepping into a high lunge, nice and controlled sending the heel back Inhale and exhale, twist to the left. The right arm comes in front, left reaches back. Our fingers are nice and spread. Squeezing the scapula together, opening through the collarbones. Beautiful. Exhale, release that right hand to the mat. Pivot on the outer edge of this foot to reach the left hand back, opening up through this left glute. One breath, and then coming back to face the front of the mat, we step back into plank pose, taking a vinyasa, nice and controlled. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. We meet in downward facing dog. And then we make our way to the tippy top of the mat, however we would like to get there. Inhale, root to rise, hands come above the head. Exhale, mountain pose. Take one breath here to reset, find your footing. Before shifting the weight to the right foot, reaching the left knee into the chest, holding here. Exhale, half chair pose. Moving slowly, using your control and your balance, sinking into the hips, enjoying the waking up of the legs, the strengthening of the quadriceps, the glutes. One more breath. And then we straighten the leg, knee back into the chest. And exhale into our tree pose. Whatever variation works in our practice today does not have to look anywhere near mine. Just opening through the hips, finding our balance. And inhale, reach the arms up. Pointer finger extends nice and long. Feeling tall and strong like a tree. One breath. And exhale, gently release, using your control to step back into high lunge. Inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, twist to the right. One breath here. Taking our gaze wherever feels good. And then planting the left hand, reaching the right back, nectar of the moon. Coming back to face the front of the mat to step back into plank pose, protracting the shoulders, gripping through the fingers, gazing between the hands, taking the right knee to the right elbow and back, left knee to left elbow, 
and back. Once more, each side, waking up the core, and now the right knee to the left elbow. Crossing to opposite sides, two times each side. Beautiful. Releasing down onto the knees, taking the hands back by the hips. Inhale, reach up high, and exhale, cactus the arms, draw the shoulder blades together, reach the chest open. Inhale, and exhale, moving with your breath, maybe even closing the eyes here, feeling. Two more big rounds like this. Feeling energized and open. Exhale, release. Taking the hands behind the hips and untucking the feet if we have them tucked like I did. Planting the hands, fingertips point towards the toes. Take one big inhale. And exhale, send the pelvis up, activating the quads, the arms, the shoulders. Getting a nice quadricep stretch. Squeezing the glutes. Beautiful strength practice this morning. Taking big breaths. Remember the breath is your friend. Exhale, release the hips. Come up onto the heels, crossing the feet at the ankles and extending into staff pose. Flexing the feet, shooting energy out through the heels. Inhale, reach up through the crown, finding length in the spine first. Before gently walking the fingertips forward on your exhale. You can always bend the knees a little bit. We're a little tight today. Or use a yoga strap to pull ourselves forward. One more breath, maybe going a little bit deeper. And inhale back up to center, taking the feet in towards the heel and towards the hips, finding boat pose. This is the last of our core work, I promise. Shins are parallel to the mat. We're reaching up, sucking the navel into the spine, reaching the chest towards the legs, holding here. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, you got this, six, five, four, three, pull it in, two, one, gently release back into staff pose. Take one breath to reset here. Start to slow down the breath. Then take this right foot into the left thigh, squaring off the hips. Inhale, reach for the sky, and exhale, reach for your foot. <laughs> Beautiful. Listening to the sound of your breath as it nourishes your body and energizes. Inhale, lift back up, taking this right knee, crossing it over the left leg. The left arm scoots around and hugs that knee into the chest as our right hand reaches behind and we lift the chest high. Getting a beautiful little twist. Exhale, come back through center, extend the right leg long, left foot comes into the thigh, remembering to square the hips and find length before we fold. Remembering it does not matter how far we go or what it looks like, just as long as it feels good to us.
Inhale, come back up. Gently finding our twist. This time using the right arm to give ourselves a little hug. And the left floats behind the body. Detoxifying early this morning, aiding in our digestion. Breathing nice and easy. Coming back through center, gently, gently. And then taking the soles of the feet together, where we end in bound angle pose, opening through the hips, pulling the feet into the groins, bending the knees down. Maybe we butterfly the legs a little bit, stimulating some of that energy we just awoken inside of ourselves. Taking one last moment here before we begin our day, rejuvenated and ready to go. Beautiful. Taking one last breath together. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, hands to heart center. The light in me honors the light in you. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.